I have a confession to make. The magazine didn't trick people. I tricked people. So yesterday I found this cover of an uh, issue of Weekly Shonen Magazine and I found it pretty funny because the way it was framed almost seemed like it was celebrating the 50th anniversary of Fairy Tale. And I am aware that it isn't. At any point that I thought that it was. And I mean, even though I don't walk around with the exact debut date of Fairy Tale, which is August of 2006 by the way, I at least know that it was in the mid-2000s. More so than that, Fairy Tale looks way more modern than any manga from the 60s or 70s, so of course it's not 50 years old. And I really didn't think anyone would actually believe this to be true. So me, having a pretty stupid sense of humor, decided to tweet that cover with the text saying that we just reached Fairy Tale's 50th anniversary today, expecting to have two or three funny comments from my followers and then to have that tweet just die right after. But then the next day I woke up and the tweet far surpassed its original audience. And while most people were in on the joke, there were people who were generally confused, people who actually believed my post and people who thought I was generally trying to trick people into believing it to be real. And I feel like the reason why a lot of people actually believed it or were generally confused was indeed because I used a legitimate cover of Weekly Shonen Magazine that without context and Japanese speaking skills looks like it's celebrating Fairy Tale's 50th anniversary. So let's actually dive into the context of this cover. If it's not actually celebrating the anniversary of Fairy Tale, then what is it celebrating? Well, I'm sure some of you, if not all of you, probably came to the obvious conclusion that this is probably celebrating the anniversary of the magazine itself, and that's true. But honestly, I hate this cover as an anniversary cover. I mean, compare it to Jump's 50th anniversary issue, and you can see it celebrate the history of the magazine by having the current manga in it side by side with the classics that build it. Shonen Sunday also had a couple of covers for their 50th anniversary that I think are really cool. The one released on the actual anniversary is a recreation of the very first issue, and a couple weeks later they did a cover where the background is tons and tons of previous issues as well. And sure, this isn't the only cover that Shonen Magazine had. The issue prior to this one is actually pretty nice. It may not look like anything special on it own, but it's only actual half of the entire thing. The other half beat the Shonen Sunday magazine of the same week that joined together to see Ippo and Conan shaking hands, a show of respect for two of the most important magazines of all time that just so happened to be released in the exact same year, in the exact same day. When we looked at the 50th anniversary cover again, it really lacks a feeling of celebrating 50 years of history. I'm not saying that Fertile isn't an important part of magazine, but this is the second most successful manga magazine of all time, and at various points in its run, it was the most successful, surpassing even Shonen Jump. It's the house of Vajima no Hippo, Lavina, Shiro no Jo, GTO, Eric Gear, Devilman, Tsubasa Chronicles. There's so much history in this magazine, and this cover only pays tribute to one of them, and I find that sad. But there's one more thing to mention about this cover, because this cover wasn't just used by me to mislead people, it actually misled me. Because, you see, this cover was not released on Weekly Shonen Magazine's 50th anniversary. It is undoubtedly celebrating it, but it was not released then. Shonen Magazine was originally released on March 17th of 1959. That means that the week that it celebrates its anniversary is between the 15th and the 21st of March of 2009, which was this cover. Now, I'm not gonna be nitpicky. I understand that maybe they celebrated the week after or even the week before, especially having in mind they had two issues talking about their 50th anniversary, but those aren't the ones around the anniversary. No, the issues celebrating the 50th anniversary of the magazine, which happened in 2009, are not, and I repeat, are not, released in 2009. <laughs> no, the issue that we've been looking at dates from April 9, 2008 the 49th anniversary of the magazine. Actually, closer to 29th and a month. And the Epo cover, it's from March 2008. Also not the 50th anniversary, and therefore also not the 50th anniversary of Sunday, either. Despite Sunday actually mentioning the 50th anniversary on their cover. But at least, at the very least, most of Sunday's 50th anniversary celebrations happened in the year of 2009. Shonen Magazine, I looked at all the covers of 2009 and none of them actually celebrates the anniversary. And that, my friends, is why this is the most annoying cover I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot. Actually, if you want to see me make my friends react to some of the most interesting and strangest covers in Weekly Shonen Jump, then click the video on the left. And if you watched it till here, thank you very much, and I'll see you next video.